18th of June, that is 19th early morning, we had the honor and pleasure of uh, doing a live case transmission from Apollo Secunderabad to United States of America, Orlando, where a C3 conference is being held. C3 is a, the second biggest cardiology conference in United States of America, where about 3,000 cardiologists are attending this conference. Uh, we had one gentleman of uh, 60 years old man who came with a four hours chest pain of uh, severe chest pain, which was a, an ongoing heart attack. And normally in these patients, we normally do a primary angioplasty. That means the, we open up the clogged vessel by using an export catheter or by using a balloon. But unfortunately, what we have seen is that despite doing a primary angioplasty, almost 25% of the patients still do not respond the way it is expected. They have a long-term morbidity and they have a long-term complications. So to overcome this particular problem, the, recently there is a new catheter which has been introduced that is called as a clearway catheter. This catheter has been used for the first time in this state where we have demonstrated by using this technology for that conference that the de local delivery of the drug was given in right inside the clot whereby the clot was dissolved immediately and the blood flow was restored. Patient became asymptomatic and in four days time patient is stabilized and is ready for discharge. So th that's the appreciation we got it from the conference and the people have highly appreciated the, the technology what we have used, the amount of the the protocols what we normally do it in our centers in our, in our country, they were quite presently surprised the, the levels of the standards what we they have seen. Uh, risk factors are the, are the main reasons for uh, the heart attacks in a younger population. It's basically the blood, the smoking is one of the commonest reasons. In addition, you have physical inactivity, that is the second most important thing. And of course, the third is the food. We normally take a lot of junk food which is high in cholesterol and other things, which increases the levels of the cholesterol. And as all of us, we know that the di diabetes, India being a capital, uh, capital for the diabetes, so diabetes also contributes in the causation of the heart attacks. Actually, to be very honest, that it's not an expensive thing at all. Initially, it is costing 30,000, but I'm very sure in a very short span of time that the cost would come down to around eight to 10,000 rupees. Uh, considering the, the benefit what it is giving, I think cost would not be a, a, a factor in, a, in adapting this particular technology. Whatever is a normal primary angioplasty cost, it, it should be the, more or less the same thing. It should not change much about it. The advantage is the patient immediately responds and patient's pain almost immediately disappears. What I suggest is, okay, first thing is, please identify that person is having a heart attack. That is critically important. Don't waste time thinking that it's a gastric trouble or it may not be a heart pain. So please consult your doctor immediately, even though nine, nine out of 10 times you may not be having a heart attack, but it is still worth it. Go to the nearest your doctor and then rush to the center where the primary angioplasties are offered so that the patient can be saved.